So now we'll be planting our blue Dutch iris. And these get really tall for me, two or three feet. But they're just little thin things. So they don't like take up a whole lot of everything, but they're a good middle border kind of plant. And I am popping them in here, making sure that I got the right side up they smell delicious they come normally after the um tulips and everything have bloomed so they're not a big deal in that sense here's some those are in too much shade so they never bloom for me but they come back every year see those are nice and tall these will get even taller because they're going to get more sunlight so I'm hoping I got them. Somebody said if you put them, you don't want them any more than six inches away from one another so that you get your show like that. Okay. Yeah. So there's one. How many do I have? Okay, so I'll do three over here. Little clusters of five to seven are cute. These are nice bulbs too. Uh, easy to grow bulbs is doing us a good. If you have um, pots or you, if you're gonna force some bulbs, they got it. They didn't intend to have it, but I guess they were a little pricey for people at the beginning of the year. So it didn't happen for them making sure I got it at the right size. I have noticed that if I plant these too close together, some of them will just pass on. They won't say anything. They'll just be like out of here. So I don't want to make that mistake. Okay, so we got that done. And so I got one, two. Oh, I want a third spot over here so it looks cute. Okay. This corner. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. G gorgeous. And you see, I'm pl I planted that one backwards. That was wrong of me. I'm doing it again. Oh no. Three are just gorgeous, but I decided since I have it, I'm gonna do five. Yeah, I'm doing five. Tulips aren't usually um, a forever kind of plant in my garden these on the other hand do come back for me so that's a big deal okay that's a nice spot okay we got that done. I have four left and some babies all of those are viable so I'm gonna put these puppies in a pot I'm gonna put them in the pot with my um what have I got here my pomegranate tree yeah here you go grow girl grow do you don't settle for less that is a plant that has passed on has seen its better days and um, has accepted its fate Alrighty, I got this plant planted so intensely. 
I'm struggling to get any more in there. I'll put this one over in this spot. One by itself is not a big show, but one's better than none. So I got three in here and one in there. And that's the end of my bulbs for the blue diamonds. So that I'm happy about that. I have some red ones, so I'll, I'll put some red ones. I'll mix this pot. I'll put some red ones in there, too. So now I'm putting my City of Harlem hyacinths. These are all the same. And um, I'm, like, having to find a spot. But this is a good problem to have. It's a problem I don't often have. I got some Harlems in there. And we're good to go. I don't think I want to put any in there because I think I only have 10 and I want to put them all right here. So, yeah. I want them to come up and look pretty over here. So, moving. Planning by my strawberries. <laughs> Which I'm happy to have. This is where I want these. Yeah, that works for me. I got a blue jacket that comes up here every year. These come back for me. I haven't had them um, multiply, but I have had them come back. So I'll take it. Voila. <laughs> So we're on to um, some mixed hyacinths. This year they might all come up together, but most years the hyacinths come up, then um, the daffodils come up at a different time, so they don't all come up together. I don't know what will happen this year because of the way that I planted everything, but we'll see. And you see why I haven't um, buried everybody. It's because I wanted to know where stuff was. Because um, there's my pumpkin vine. Very important to me. And just having these here and there. Putting it in my spinach plant sorrel spinach parting is such sorrel she won't bother these that I can tell you. She don't want none of that. The squirrel, that is. No moss. No moss. Okay. Um, hyacinths can take partial shade as well. They are very good at being a um, a crop for uh, woodland areas, like mine. <laughs> yeah, trying to make sure I have enough to get a show when they come, but nothing over the top. If it's where the highest bulb could force its way through, then I'm fine with that. Yeah. That'll be cute. Do I have any spots where I can put a couple of my... Ah, I think I see a spot here. Yeah, there's a spot. Oh, 
have a few more. I don't want these too far back. Yeah. That's what I don't want. I don't want these too far back. And yeah, that should do it. Ah, there's this. Okay, so we're good. We got a nice little row in there. It'll be pretty. It's gonna be pretty. Ah, that one will be, since these come late, and these come in early season, it'll still be overclassed, but this will be very, pretty good sun in the summertime, so. And I like mine in like morning sun normally because then they get taller. God bless you.